Hi everybody, uh, Kaiwaza John with you and today uh, uh, kind of a haul video that I really wasn't expecting to do. Um, today was the Hawaii Collectors, All Collectors Expo at the Blaisdell Arena at the Blaisdell Center, whatever. And they do, they do this a couple times a year and then they have small one day shows other times during the year. But I think twice a year they have the big show in the the main hall, which is what was today, and they're only doing it one day today. Some day sometimes they do it over the course of two or three days. Anyway, uh, I always go to it, and I always have a great time, and it's not just Hawaiiana, but there's also uh, everything that's sort of collectible. There are people there that, you know, do stamps, that do kitchenware, that do, like, vintage jewelry, um, all sorts of things, uh, comics and figurines and whatever all sorts of things that people collect. Uh, but I'd say maybe about 40%, maybe somewhere, be yeah, yeah, I'd say about 40% of the uh, vendors are Hawaiiana. Uh, and normally I, I go and I spend a whole day, I always request a day off and from work, and I go and I spend hours, and I have a wonderful time just browsing through all of the stuff, but I don't actually buy that much usually because there aren't that many people dealing with records uh, too much and uh, I just really like looking and, and sometimes like if they have Hawaiian shirts they're usually quite expensive because they're vintage and they'll have uh, you know postcards and some old travel brochures and some of that stuff I get and I'm interested in when it's kind of on the cheaper side because it's not you know mainly what I collect but I always go and have a good time um, and I was just expecting to do the same thing today um, however today turned out to be quite different because there were uh, there were a lot of vendors that had records and had Hawaiian records in particular and had quite a few of them um, I mean I have like almost everything but there was I did get some things that I didn't have and I didn't even know were around some of them <coughs> and uh, other records you know as well and I just kind of wanted to do a quick haul video I've just come back from there I had lunch and just uh, walked in the door so I thought that I want to just do kind of a haul video because uh, I was pretty amazed at, at what was there and, and what I got and some of the prices were pretty amazing so let's check out what I got okay so let's just get right into it and I'll try and go quickly and not into a lot of detail because I just want to cover everything um, to show you what I got so I first through the records couple of people had tons and tons of 45s that they were selling for a dollar for uh, some for 50 cents some for two dollars so amazing prices actually and these are all 49th state Hawaii singles that I did not have that are this music that's not on um, not on any of the albums Lulu get your moo moo so there's 11 of these 11 49th state and they were all either one dollar or two dollars amazing and then I got like 10 other same 45 singles that were the same thing. They're just like between 50 cents and $2 depending on where I got them. Bell Records, these are some old ones. But these are all Hawaiian songs. And one, the one I was really, really excited particularly to find out is this song by Ed Kenny called Two Senators from the 50th State. I have heard this song. It was not on any album. It's amazing really wonderful and I will uh, upload it onto my uh, Hawaiian Leisure Hour channel shortly and by the way I haven't listened to anything like I said I've just got home I haven't listened to any of this so I have no idea and then I got a couple of Hawaiian Christmas because I'm always on the lookout for those uh, again these are you know 45s that were not on an album the Spirit of Christmas a Hawaiian Christmas by Mac Via Verde from 1983 no More Christmas Blues, Frank DeLima, Honolulu Boy Choir, and then this one is not in great shape, but I'm sure after I wash it up, it'll be better. Uh, Iva and Nephi Kinimaka. Yeah, uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and Christmas Time Again, Aloha. Iva Kinimaka. Now onto the uh, albums. 
This is a 10 inch one, the McKenzie Serenaders. McKenzie uh, was a tour group operator, so these are their Serenaders. Souvenir album with songs from Hawaii. I had a copy of this, it's a 10 inch on red vinyl, but my copy was so scratched and so beaten up, I never even digitized it because it was just terrible. So, uh, excited to find this one. Um, this one I already have, Strings Over Hawaii, Don Tiare, and His Enchanting Violence. However, my copy is mono, this one is stereo, and the record itself is in beautiful condition. This one lady was selling tons of records for $2. I mean, she had several bins, $2, lots and lots of Hawaiian stuff. Like, I really, it made me, I just was wishing while I was going through this, I thought, gosh, you know... I kind of wish I knew what some other people, I know some of my subscribers that are getting into this, um, was interested in, or if there were artists they were interested in, because I would have bought some, you know, I could have bought some and sent them to them, because those prices were ridiculous. I mean, they were $2, and a lot of them were in just absolutely gorgeous condition. Um, South Pacific, this is just, you know, easy listening, but music from South Pacific, which... I don't have this particular one, so I'm going to get it for two bucks. Uh, Kamehameha Chance, Kaylee Tao. Uh, I am personally not that interested in Chance, but I did not have this one, um, so I needed to get it because I have this other stuff. This one I have, but uh, Holiday in Hawaii, Luau Time, Jesse Kalima. But again, this is still in the shrink wrap. Look at the condition on this. It's beautiful. It was two freaking dollars. Like, are you kidding me? I had to get it. Um, Frederick Hayashi on the piano. Strictly singing piano. Now, this is a private pressing. Recorded publications, Camden, New Jersey. The kind where you, like, sent in your recording and they would press it. I have one from him. He's a local. was from Hawaii. Uh, and I had another vanity from him, that vanity record that had oh, yeah, three or four Hawaiian songs on it and then other ones. This is the same thing. It's a different record, different songs, but there's th three or four Hawaiian ones, including Ko'ola Fantasy, which he wrote. And it has this picture, so which the other one did not. So what I did not realize the on the first album was that apparently he's blind and he's, you know, braille reading the music and playing the piano. So, uh, you know, amazing. I didn't know that. One dollar, one dollar. Okay. <coughs> John DeMello at the Waikiki Theater, Oregon. Waikiki Theater was amazing. It has been torn down, but it was an amazing place. I have been there several times myself in the past. And these are all Hawaiian songs. And they actually had a theater organ in there. And uh, on the weekends, I think they had somebody that would play songs. Uh, I was happy to find this one. This is quite expensive when you find it. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess it's a, you know, Kanaka label, a private thing. Uh, Carol Kai, she's well known, but I mean, she only did a couple of albums, but she's a well known, was a well known uh, personality here for a long time. And this wasn't priced, and the guy was like, I asked him how much it was. He's like, I don't know, was it worth you? And I said, Well, to me, it's worth uh, $5. So I got it for $5, which is a very good deal. Uh, another really good deal that record I'm not familiar with but I've seen several times it's always very expensive the soundtrack from Barefoot Adventure Bud Shank this is like a, you know Pacific Jazz Records is sort of a jazz thing um, however it's filmed you know Hawaii a lot I guess this film and the songs have a surfing and a Hawaiian theme whatever I've never heard it I was very curious about it and it was five dollars because it's in such horrible condition. However, looking at it though, what I'm, you know, what I realized when I was looking at it, like this is really, I think, mostly just surface stuff. There's a lot of mud like on here, and if I just wash this thing really well in the sink, which I do with ones that are really bad, I think it'll be just fine. Five bucks. This is the one I was most excited about and most curious about. Finally, it's part of the Hawaiian records. Meke Aloha Pume Hana. This is a. I'm thinking. Laleo recording like a private pressing of some kind. I've never seen it. Um, this person worked at the uh, Kauai Surf Hotel, it says, and then there's a bunch of information. But uh, their name is Percy Laleo Kinimaka. I don't know if that's related to Iva Kinimaka or not. But anyway, uh, their album, I've never seen it before. 
Happy Hawaiian Beach Boy. This is Paradise. Sweet Leilani. Very curious to hear this one. Okay, then I'm just going to quickly go through, just kind of leaf through. These These are not Hawaiian albums, so. But other things that I got on the cheap. Nancy Wilson. Come on, I love Nancy Wilson. This was a dollar. A dollar. Nancy Wilson Kaleidoscope. How can you not get Julie London for a dollar, please? Like bongos. Now, I know we all love these things. Full gatefold ones with crazy uh, lounge bongo music. Gotta get it. Wine War Chant Taboo. Bongolina. Now, believe it or not, I actually am not in possession of any Walter Wanderly albums. I know he, if you're like into Exotica, everybody pretty much has his stuff. They get it for this cover, and then, but it's kind of you know, it's a, he's an organist, and it's not Hawaiian at all, but it's, it's kind of exotic, sambas and bossa novas and that sort of thing. And you know, for two dollars, I'll get it, and for two dollars, I might as well get the follow-up Brazilian blend. Why not? Happy to find this one for two dollars. Preston Epps. Bongo, bongo, bongo. This one is, I've had it on CD from a long time ago, but um, Bongo in the Congo. Bongo's in pastel and a 13 minute continuous call of the jungle. Amazing. And this one I just thought I'd get because I, I I've heard some budget labels by Jerry Cole, and I really liked his guitar work, and this is a regular one on Capitol. I've never seen it before. Surf Age, so it's kind of like groovy, funkadelic, surf-ish, you know, guitar. It's not going to focus, but these are all just like Rosarita Surf, Power Surf, Deep Surf, Racing Waves. Interesting. And then, very quickly, the other stuff I got that's not uh, records. Um, I got a Hawaiian shirt because, I mean, it was cheap. The price was right, and hello, I could not resist it because look at it. It's delicious rings of pineapple. Who doesn't want to just be wearing delicious rings of pineapple? It was $10. And it is a Tory Richard, which in case if you know anything about Hawaiian shirts, that's one of the really high-end, very expensive brands. So I'll be very shishi in my Tory Richards. And then uh, I also have a lot of tiki necklaces, and this one was there. It wasn't particularly outstanding or anything, but hey, it was $5. And um, I had been looking around at some jewelry stuff because I have a lot of tiki tiki necklaces like this and some old ones and a lot of them are on the old leather uh, and it's uh, you know either broken or it needs to be replaced so I'm kind of in the process of like redoing a number of them uh, and I've been looking around for some little like jewelry and stuff and they sell the jewelry really cheap at this thing so I, uh, I got like some bags because you can get bags and these necklaces were um, what were they they were three dollars each or two for five so I got them because, not that I'm going to wear them like this, but um, when I restring, like I'll use some of these. Some of these I think would look really cool with some of these. So I'll restring them, um, some of them, you know, and use like certain ones on, to put, you know, a couple on either side of a tiki or whatever. Because I thought these were, I kind of like them and I thought they would work well. I almost like that one by itself. Um, this one, I don't know, but it's kind of, you know, if you take it apart, and I have some rather large tikis, and that might be kind of cool using one or two of those. These ones, I think I could actually just just wire the tiki onto it, and it would be okay. Anyway, that is what I got. So that's, yeah, like some of these that I have that have to be, you know. I, anyway, you get the idea. So anyway, that's what I got. Sorry to be like all rambling on all over the place, but I just wanted to, you know, it was kind of an unexpected haul and I just wanted to put it up and share it with you all. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing that and give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And next up, we'll be going back to the Hawaiian record collection on the next video.